Hi guys, in this video I will share with you my opinion of the topic of traveling sketching, what I have changed and what I would like to add to my next trip. We traveled around Serbia, the first stop was Belgrade. I didn't plan to draw a lot and took with me a minimal set, a sketchbook, two liners, black and grey, uh, black ballpoint pen and two markers. There I didn't take my phone with me on walk, so there are no pictures from Belgrade, but I drew the first sketch of daffodil flowers that we bought on the street. In Belgrade we rented a car and drove to Tara National Park. There we stayed in an apartment with a terrace and an incredible view of the lake. If you only knew how many times I said how good, how beautiful, I had some time and I drew this beautiful landscape. It turned out to be a little unsure, but that's good too. Uh, this way I can remember my feelings, my state at this moment when I look at this drawing. In fact, I believe that a sketch does not have to be perfect. And who determines the coolness of a drawing anyway? On our trip I perfectly understood that I would not have much time to draw, but I wanted to take my memories from each place. I greatly admire nature, I get a lot of pleasure and inspiration from contemplating it. I take a break from the city and fill up with energy of such trips to nature. But every time after traveling I find it very difficult to return to work. If I had more time in each of the places then of course I would have drawn more, um, but since drawing was not the very purpose of the trip, the result that I got suits me quite well. Upon returning home I look at it, examples of how people write their travel sketchbook. Each person does this in their own way. Some people supplement the drawing with small notes about the place or write about their feelings. Some stick on tickets, photographs, while others draw sketches with paints. I would call travel sketching travel notes. Some express their feelings through words while other draw. Sometimes I don't want to not only draw but even pick up my phone. I like to watch nature, people, study architecture and look at details. Just look at the beauty of this nature. I am truly delighted with these wonderful places. In the next sketch I drew a forest with stones, moss and plants. I don't have a video of this place, only photos. I drew the sketch using mostly very thin black liner. As many already know, I am filling out my first sketchbook in a very long time. That's why it's experimental. Here I try to draw without pencil sketch base. Sometimes, when I'm very unsure, I can first draw with a pencil and then on top with pens or a marker. On the trip, I didn't have pencils with me, so I had no choice and immediately drew with pens. Yes, I made mistakes, I didn't draw accurately, but this uh, has its own beauty and advantages. This way I teach my hand to draw more without corrections, uh, looking for more accurate shapes right away. In general, during the whole week I managed to draw only 5 sketches. I completed another 6 sketches at home from memories and photographs. Uh, when you are traveling, uh, when you are not alone, it's difficult to stop and concentrate uh, to draw. 
After all, you depend on the people who travel with you. And most often they are simply not ready to wait for you. Or you will have to skip part of the road, but who wants to do that? From the winter landscape we moved to spring Slatibor. Here I also had time to sit on the terrace and draw. This is my second sketch in the sketchbook. I like the small house opposite uh, with a tiled roof and this large spruce tree in the foreground. I also found the composition interesting. I discovered travel sketching for the first time. Previously I only painted in the open air when I was studying to be an artist. To be honest, this was my least favorite time. It was necessary to take a large sketchbook, a lot of materials and look for a place to draw. In general, I preferred to, to draw more in the classroom. I was not very inspired by this romance of painting on the street. Now I'm interested in trying something new or I could say remembering the old but in a new form. Perhaps I didn't choose best time for travel sketching because uh, we have not seen the family for a long time and uh, I had to spend a lot of time communicating and we also had a busy travel road. On our way from Zlatibor there were flowering gardens and a beautiful waterfall. I really like the view of the water cascading down the rocks and glistening in the sun. Spring and fall travel are some of my favorites. At this time there are few tourists, uh, the weather is pleasant for walking the seasons change and it's interesting to watch. The last point of our trip was the city Subotica. We arrived there in the evening to take a walk and uh, see the Austro-Hungarian architecture and the next day we visited the national park Futoshka Gora and Stremski Karlovci. Uh, there we visited a home winery. The grey liner was a revelation for me. I was very disappointed when I accidentally bought it instead of black liner, but how I love it in uh, sketching. Its huge advantage is the ability to darken the tone by applying one layer of tone to another. It also looks great with black liner. By combining grey and black you can create a light airy space and grey liner can be the basis for a black more confident design. But it's also good on its own. On this page of the sketchbook I drew Pleskovica National Serbian dish, a house of the shore of Lake Zauvin, the costly waterfall. 
flowering gardens surrounded as a whole trip. Serbia and Rakia, what would Serbia be without Rakia? And an incredible view of Bosnia and Herzegovina from the Banska Stena. During this trip I received a lot of inspiration and motivation and I'm ready to share it with you. Please tell me in the comments do you draw travel sketches? I will be glad to receive your support and likes and subscriptions to the channel. Don't miss out, there is a lot of interesting things ahead. Thanks for watching and see you soon.